M0FXB, how to add a hotspot to your ICOM ID51 plus 2. So you have to be out of DR mode by holding down the DR button. You're in it now, but you need to be out of it. Okay, uh, you can be in VFO mode or memory mode. <clears throat> Hit the menu button, go to DV memory using the blue button in the middle to select. Then go to repeater list. Now you're looking for a blank one of these because effectively you're adding the hotspot as a repeater, but a simplex one. So we found one here blank, so we're gonna name it. Edit name and we're gonna call it my hotspot. Okay, um, hit the M, um, turn the, the top button here um, to select then CS button to go across. Go my and then go across. We we'll just call it my H for now, I'll be here all day. Okay, that's selected. Right, so now you've named the group. So now you want to add your hotspot. So you're in the group, you select with the middle blue button. Blank, hit um, the quick speech bottom right and it comes up with add then enter. So now you're going to enter the detail. So it's the, the first thing is DV repeater, that's fine. Uh, we'll name it HS for now. H S for hotspot. There you go. Enter. Uh, forget the sub name for now. Call sign, you're going to put in your call sign. So, um, you can see how we're doing it. Turn the knob, turn the knob you, you go through the numbers, then hit CS to go across. We'll do a different call sign than mine because it's in the memory. Enter. Oh, now what you do is once you've entered it, go all the way across hitting the CS button and put in the letter B. You need that for a, a simplex repeater, like a jumbo spot. Hit Enter. Then it automatically puts the next part in as the gateway call sign that you're going to need. Without that, it won't. The, the jumbo spot won't work. Right, you can use a group, but I'm not going to. Then you want the frequency that's in your hotspot in your Pi Star. Um, configuration settings. Let's just do four, three, hundred. You definitely have to have a shift. You've got minus here, and then you have to change the shift frequency to naught. Otherwise, it won't work. And then UTC. Well, we'll do plus one. Okay, enter. Then go to the bottom, and then add right by selecting the middle button. Yes. Okay, so now it's in, you've got your hotspot in the repeater list. Um, so we go menu, DV memory, repeater list, go to, we call it my hotspot, select it once, then it, in that you could have more than one thing in that list, in that group. So select your hotspot, you selected it there, just to check that everything's right. See, it's all in there. Right, okay, now we've got to try and get it into the repeat list. So now, go back to your normal page by just backing up using the menu button. Hold down the DR button, and now you're in DR. So, it, um, sorry, so scroll to the bottom part, select, and you want to go to your repeater list. And there it is at number one, my hotspot. So that's your hotspot selected now. Now you want to link to a repeater. So go up one, uh, so that two is highlighted on the left, as you can see. Select reflector, go to link to reflector, select it. Now you can hit direct input and you can choose one, Charlie, just by turning the knob, one, and then remember to change the letter the L means link, so anyway, one Charlie, select that, and then you have to 
it won't link because it's not on the right frequency for my hotspot, but you have to key and it will link to one Charlie. Now that's fine, you'll hear it announce that. Once it's done that, then you still have to go to the top, select it again, and it's really important, otherwise no one will hear you. Hit reflector again, and this time instead of um, selecting link to reflect, you have to use select use reflector. So at the top you'll have use reflector, and at the bottom it will say your core sign and your hotspot. If you do all that, your hotspot will work fine. And if you transmit whilst you're looking at the dashboard of the Pi Star system, you will see uh, you uh, yourself appear in the local list and in the activity list. If you don't, you've got the frequency, you've got a setting or a setting wrong. And if no one hears you, it's the same. But you can uh, always check again. Hope this helps. M0FXB.